Transparent TVs, robot dogs and quirky products have been on show at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. From the Strip Tech Guide editor Stephen Fennick joins me now. Good afternoon to you from Las Vegas. Look at you there. How's it going? Hi there, Janie. Yeah, it's been a big week here. This is the last day of the show. This is uh, what kicks off uh, all of the, our tech year for us. It's the biggest tech trade show in the world, the Consumer Electronics Show. A lot of companies, they time their releases for this event. A lot of retailers as well, they come to see what's on offer and they decide then what you see on your shelves, uh, including some of the latest TVs. A lot of the TVs are normally launched at this show. And I think LG's probably taken the crown here with uh, their transparent OLED T TV. So this is an OLED, 77 inch OLED TV that is actually transparent. You can see through it. So uh, when it's turned off, it's actually invisible. Rather than being a uh, boring black rectangle on your wall, you can actually see through it. And there is a, a, a contrast screen though that you can actually rolls up out of a box at the back of the TV. So it looks like a regular OLED as well. So you can choose transparent mode or that uh, the, the, the regular OLED mode as well. But I think another thing that matters at CES is size. Uh, the, the big TVs on show here were the, one of the biggest was uh, from Hisense. Hisense released a 110 inch ULED TV. This has got their mini LED X technology. So this is what was almost the biggest. I think TCL had a 115 inch TV. So this is just answering customer demand that we are we are looking at larger TVs. Bigger screens are better according to the customers. And this has 40,000 dimming zones. So the quality on this TV, I stood in front of this for quite a while. I was mesmerized. It was an absolutely, absolutely great quality, but also that massive size, it didn't really, didn't count against the, the clarity either. Samsung, of course, they're the, the biggest brand in the world. They had their AI-powered TVs here, their Neo QLED panels, and these are powered by a new AI processor. So not only is that improving picture quality on the fly, but it is also helpful in their 8K upscaling. So they sell their 8K TVs. Problem with that is there's not a lot of 8K content. So what the AI can do is actually upscale HD and 4K content to near 8K quality, which makes it uh, amazingly sharp and bright, amazing clarity on those 8K televisions. So expect to see these TVs landing in Australia within the next couple of months. Yeah, it looks like a big focus on AI at that trade show and also some quirky products, including tell us about the smart cat flap that you can actually prevent your cat bringing home gifts. Yeah, this is uh, called Flappy. Uh, if you're a cat owner, <laughs> you probably know that one of the problems your cat might wander out into the neighbourhood and bring home a little gift. And by gift, I mean a dead mouse or a bird, which is not the very most pleasant thing to see in your home. But what Flappy does, Flappy uses AI and actually scans your cat's face. And if it sees it has an object in its mouth, it actually doesn't open the door. It locks the door. It's like a bouncer at a nightclub. It won't let them in. Uh, until they drop that object out of their mouth, then the door will open. And only for them, a, a special sensor on their collar will open the door just for your cat. So don't expect every cat in the neighbourhood to turn up at your place, but your cat won't be turning up with those unwanted gifts. OK, well, that's perhaps good if we don't want a mouse, you know, entering our house. But um, I'm no expert in this, but um, aren't gifts meant to be a sign of love? Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess so, but uh, I think the, the, the cat, uh, you, they think it's obviously they're, they're doing you a favour, they want to impress you, but every cat owner will tell you that uh, that's the last <laughs> thing they want to see at home. Yeah, I uh, have um, received many little, uh, <laughs> only, only one mouse I think, but um, yeah, lots of few little gifts. Yeah. But um, yeah, very interesting indeed. And what about um, dogs, a robot that can play with your dog when you're not home? Yeah, well, we've covered the cat owners, so let's talk, if you've got a dog, one of the things with a dog is they get separation anxiety. Even the owner misses their dog when they leave. So with Oro, this is an automated a robot that can actually interact with your dog and even play with it. There, there's a facility, there's a mechanism that actually throw, it throws a ball so you can play fetch with your dog when you're not home. So if it gets anxious, it gets bored, it gets restless, you're able to interact with the dog. You can even use the onboard cameras and call in and say, Heidi to your dog through the onboard screen. They'll be able to see your face as well. So not only is it curing the dog separation anxiety, the owner can check in on their dog as well.
<laughs> Any robots to uh, do our cleaning up yet there, Steve? Oh, plenty there. There's robot Great. vacuums, there's robot lawnmowers, <laughs> there's robots that can even make you a cup of coffee. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's all happening here. AI and robots, it's all you need. All right. Are we seeing anything? Because we always talk about AI not really showing emotion yet. Anything on the cards there? Well, on the contrary, I think AI, like Samsung and LG, have these new AI robots that roam around your house. And the LG smart agent, that can actually look at your face and sense your voice and tell what sort of mood you're in. So if it, if it sees that you're maybe a bit depressed or a bit down, it'll play you a, a bit of content or some music that can lighten your mood. So, yeah, AI is very much looking to looking out for you. If, there, if there, it does sense that you may be sick or emotional, it's, it's going to do something about it. Very interesting indeed. It'd be fascinating to watch more and more come our way, including what's happening in AI. So when do you come home? Uh, I leave. Today's the last day of the show. I'll be flying home tomorrow. So I'll be back in Australia on Monday and uh, back, uh, back uh, with you again next Saturday from home. All right. Well, safe travels. Always great to see you. Enjoy. Thanks, Janie.